Okay, this guy right here, you all need to spend some time with. He's got great structures, very, very visible, great model. Guys, okay, so we're going to go over some of those. Here's your sternocleidomastoid muscle, pectoralis major, deltoid, platysma. We'll do these muscles in a minute. Here's your clavicle. This right here is your cephalic vein. Comes between the deltoid and the pectoralis major muscle. This nerve, this white structure is a nerve sitting on top of sternocleidomastoid is actually spinal accessory nerve. Take some stuff off of this dude. Okay, underneath pec major, you can see pec minor. This is your subclavius muscle, right under the clavicle. Here you have some intercostal muscles. You can see the ribs here. This is external intercostal, internal intercostal. Notice the fiber direction. You got to pay special attention to that. external intercostal, internal intercostal. Now here we can see some vessels. This right here is your left subclavian vein. Okay, here's your first rib. I remember first rib is a landmark, right, for name change. So this portion is left subclavian vein. This portion is left axillary vein. Here's your cephalic vein coming up and dumping right into the end of axillary vein. So left subclavian, left axillary vein. This is your internal jugular vein. This is your left subclavian artery. This is left axillary artery. This is your brachial plexus here in white. This is your omohyoid muscle. Thyroid cartilage here, cricoid cartilage. So right in between those you'd have your cricothyroid membrane. You can't see cricothyroid muscle on here. It's covered up by this one, which is sternothyroid muscle, going from the sternum to the thyroid cartilage. This one right here that's been cut is thyro, I mean sternohyoid, and you can see that here. So that's going to be the longest one. It's going to go all the way up to the hyoid bone. So sternohyoid, sternothyroid, omohyoid. Brachial plexus is here, so that makes this muscle anterior scalene. You can see a little nerve sitting on top of it. It's always phrenic. If it's on top of anterior scalene, it's got to be phrenic. We turn to the side, you can see middle scalene and posterior scalene. Anterior, middle, posterior scalene. Brachial plexus, phrenic nerve. Internal jugular vein, left internal jugular vein. You can also see your left common carotid artery here going up with internal jugular. And we'll turn them upside down in a second and see the split. And this right here is your um, thyrohyoid muscle. So it's right under omohyoid. You can see your thyroid cartilage right there. Here's your thyrohyoid membrane. Let's flip them up here. Okay, hopefully you guys can see this okay. So here's thyroid cartilage, here's your omohyoid. So your hyoid bone is up here. Here's your thyrohyoid muscle. This right here is anterior belly of the digastric. You can see that it's going through the stylohyoid muscle. Here's posterior belly of the digastric. You can see the split from your common carotid artery. This would be external carotid artery, and this would be internal. And this white nerve running with those, with internal jugular and the carotids, is your vagus nerve. So this would be left vagus. Pharyngeal prominence, thyrohyoid membrane. Underneath the digastric, you can see mylohyoid. Let's see if we can see those a little bit better. So here's anterior belly of the digastric, and this is mylohyoid underneath. Now if we turn this to the side, you can actually see the mylohyoid here in sagittal section. 
right on top of that is going to be geniohyoid and right here is genioglossus epiglottis pharyngeal prominence vocal folds larynx pharynx esophagus trachea aortic arch this is long right here lots of cool things on here actually I think we pretty much covered most of those there's just another picture of this side anterior middle posterior scalene brachial plexus omohyoid in left internal jugular vein left external carotid artery, left internal carotid artery, thyrohyoid muscle, anterior belly, the digastric, pharyngeal prominence, thyroid cartilage, sternothyroid muscle, sternohyoid muscle, left subclavian vein, left axillary vein, right subclavian vein, right axillary vein, so many things external intercostal, internal intercostal, pectoralis minor. Okay, well, I think that's it.